Beanie T Beat. This is my six month LA anniversary video. I have been living in Los Angeles for six months today, October 1st, and I can't believe it. Today I actually just chilled out. I'm on my way to Bible study at one church, but I wanted to shoot this really quick video. Um, one thing I've learned about LA is it is a city where you need someone. It's not like New York where you can go to the cafe, you can go to a museum and like by yourself. You know, like in New York, you're surrounded by people, so you never really feel alone. Here in LA, it's not like that. Of course, you can do stuff by yourself, but there is this sense, for me, there's this sense of like, damn, I'm by myself. And you don't enjoy things like as much. I think you're more conscious of the fact that you are by yourself. So for me, like, I've realized this month literally well in September I realized okay I need to get out of my comfort zone I need to meet more people to really enjoy the things that I like to do with someone I've never really I've always been independent but you like it's hard being solo dolo here out in LA um, I realized like oh my god I live in LA was like two weeks ago when I was going home or I was coming back to LA from New Jersey and I went through Union Station which is a historical station train station out here in LA last time I had been at Union Station was in 2012 when I came here for Coachella and to see how I live here now and I hadn't been in that in that station since I turned what 22 23 it's just really amazing to know that I like completely stopped conforming to what society wanted me to do, what my family, what my friends, what my degree said I should be doing. And I just, I'm like here in LA, like living my life. Like every day I wake up and I thank God and every day I'm doing something towards my dream and I'm doing something that makes me happy. Um, what else have I learned since living in los angeles you don't need a car as much as they say you do public transportation is is fine i think i talked about that in my four month anniversary video i think i talked about that but yeah you don't need a car so don't feel like if you ever move here don't feel pressure to like you know get a car it will happen you'll get around don't worry um one major thing is that like god is literally turning me inside out because I have realized that I need to become more sensitive, how my words and my actions affect people, I need to be more sensitive to that. I'm learning how to be completely accepting of people right where they are in their life and human journey. And I'm learning to be definitely more compassionate. Like my coworkers at the job that I work at, like they taught me that, that I need to definitely be more sensitive and not be so like hard and aggressive all the time. Um, I finally like have been able to go to museums out here in LA and the art scene is like pretty big out here in LA and I went to an event like last week at the Mocha downtown and I was discovering parts of downtown I never even like knew existed and that's what's so great about living in a new city and is that you get to discover so many like hidden treasures and like last week that night made me realize like okay Los Angeles has a lot to offer I need to open up my eyes open up my heart and really just like dive into this city so that's one of my goals for October is to dive more into this city really get to understand the city and go to more events and meet more people and just um, not only concentrate on being an actor and working and things like that I want to be able to open up to what the city has to offer me um i did realize that i can change my love story my love story doesn't always have to be a mess um and it takes you have to take a break from whatever you date if you date men if you date women whatever you have to take a break from people you have to take a break and just be with yourself when you're with yourself you're able to be like okay i'm not going to do that again okay i don't like that i like this i enjoy that so that when the next person comes you know okay this is how i'm going to handle that situation and that's basically like what's happening like i finally met someone that took forever 
and right now obviously it's like new but I'm just totally going with the flow and yeah I really enjoy you know hanging out with him and it's cool I think this is the first time I've talked about a guy that wasn't my ex here on Beanie TV so that's amazing that's amazing it took me six months finally thank you anyway um yep so six months here in los angeles um i'm c constantly going on auditions um i still i booked that um commercial back in august so i haven't booked any work i didn't work any i didn't book any work in september but pray for me all to book something in october more than one thing hopefully but um yeah as far as that goes i'm constantly auditioning and if any of you have any if you have any questions about being an actor here, I will be more than happy to help you. Um, if you have any questions about moving to LA, please feel free to hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Beanie TV and make sure to follow me um, on here. Subscribe, comment, and share. Thanks for tuning into Beanie TV six month LA anniversary. I'm about to go to midweek service. Peace.